First place in the Central on the line this weekend at Target Field as Cleveland is in town for four and they lead the Twins by three and a half games for the top spot in the division. It starts with a doubleheader today, but the day has already gotten off to a rough start for the Twins. The news of the day, the news on Joe Ryan, much worse than it hoped for as Joe has a grade two right terrace major strain. That is a muscle that connects the shoulder blade and the humerus. That means no throwing for six plus weeks, which means Joe is done for the season. Today's starting pitcher, Bailey Ober, coming in with a very nifty 11-5 record, 3.69 ERA, making his 22nd start of the season. 332 entering play today. Only Bobby Wood Jr. has a higher batting average than Quan right now. Pokes this one. Back of short. This one fading, fading, but there is Buxton. And there's ball four. So Schneeman, who has a walk rate of 11%, league average at 8%. Is on base, and that'll bring up Jose Ramirez to the right side. That's caught by Farmer. Throws back to first, not in time, as Schneeman is back in safely. Struck him out with a changeup and over with a solid start, a walk, but no damage done. Twins are coming up scoreless here in game one. Well, we go now to the bottom of the first inning. Joey Cantillo in the scoreless game. Manuel Margot drives on deep center over the head of Thomas. One bounce up against the wall and wow for Joey Cantillo the first pitch of a game doesn't go very well for him. Kyle Schwarber took him out of the yard when he made his debut in Philadelphia. Manuel Margot smoked a double to straightaway center. That'll bring up Byron Buxton. Buxton to right. This will be playable for Brennan but Margot will tag and advance to third base. So Buxton flies out to right. Margot now at third and Royce Lewis is coming up. Pulled to third, backhanded by Schneeman, Bobbles recovers and will throw out Lewis as Margot scores. So Lewis drives in Margot. Day night doubleheader, game one, one nothing Minnesota. Carlos Santana, long time. Cleveland, first baseman, has not enjoyed facing his former team as a twin this season, one for 20 so far against the Guardians. Try to change that, and he will. Left field and deep and gone. Second deck home run for Carlos Santana. And the Twins take a 2 0 lead. But Joey Cantillo, for whatever reason, has a Dickens of a time with whoever is leading off an inning. They're looking for that heater, and that was elevated, bell high, and he hit that into the second deck. 2 0 Twins, third inning. Bo Naylor, the number nine hitter, leads off. It's a swinging miss, and Naylor's down on strikes. Third strikeout for Big Bailey Ober, and there's one down for the top of the order, Stephen Kwan. Ninth pitch of this at bat, and this one will be playable. Shallow left. It is Margo in the sunshine. Two down. Did not give in there. So over a lengthy at bat retires Quan for the second time. And Schneeman strikes out Bailey over. A one, two, three, third inning. He has struck out four through three. The command has been a problem for Cantillo. Back to back walks. Now you get to the meat of the order. The pitch swung on cue toward short. Rocchio to second one. Jimenez turns the double play on Lewis. Oh, a great changeup may have changed the complexion of this game. 2 nothing Twins after three. And the Guardians go quietly again as Overs on a roll. Seven in a row retired. Bailey Over doing his job. He sets down the Guardians in order and there's not a lot of run through four. Twins lead 2 nothing. Overs throwing well, but you'd sure like to pick up some insurance, pad that number a little bit. This ball hit high in the air to left field. Deep into left field, Quan's looking up, and that ball is gone off the facing of the second deck, and Ryan Jeffers adds on in D. Another fastball up that gets drilled out of the ballpark. It's a solo shot, but they've got three on the board now. That's ball four, and the Guardians have a leadoff base runner here in the fifth inning. So we'll see if they can do something with that. That's the second walk by Ober, and here comes Brennan. Line drive, base hit right field. Will Brennan is two for two. And the Guardians finally have something brewing with two on and nobody out here in the fifth. Right, Rocchio flight out to right in the second inning. Big pitch right now for Bailey. Struck him out, 92. Over comes back and picks up out number one. Two down. Seventh strikeout, another swing and miss with his changeup. Juan digs in. He's 0 for 2. He's fly to center and popped to left. 
in the air to playable right. Once again, weak contact induced by Ober. Kepler makes the play, and Ober works out of it. Two on, nobody out. The Guardians do not score. Bailey Ober back out for the sixth. Leading off for the Guardians, Daniel Schneeman. Looked like he went. He did. Change up once again. Induces a check and a commit, and Schneeman strikes out for the second time. Eighth strikeout from Ober once again with the changeup. Struck him out with a slider. Nine strikeouts for Ober. And Ramirez is now 0 for 3. So Bailey now at 100 pitches. Trying to get through the sixth for a ninth consecutive quality start. This one tapped back to Bailey. He's got plenty of time. Now bobbled, bobbled again, and now shows some frustration slamming that ball down. And Ober will be charged with an error. And he'll face Lane Thomas. He's done 101 pitches. I think he gets Thomas, and he hands this one over to the bullpen. He leads 3 0. Alcala is up and warming. To right. Playable Kepler. Max is over. He's got it. And Bailey over. Nine consecutive quality starts. Six more scoreless today here in game one. Two, three, four up this inning and hopefully five, six, seven. They need to put this game away. Smack to left center field and Buxton. A leadoff hit. And you bet he's thinking too. Thomas will fire to second base. No chance. How fun is that to watch? In the gap, Buxton single, never on his mind. A leadoff double to begin the sixth inning. Even the fans are pumping the buck truck. Broken bat. Cantillo will plant, skips it to first, and just in time to beat Lewis as Buxton advances down to third. Well, Cantillo, he had his eyes set on Buxton, then realized, hey, I don't have a teammate there. Had a plant. Threw that ball into the ground, but had enough on it to get Lewis. Infield in, 3 0 Minnesota. Runner at third, one out, bottom of the sixth. Coming home, Schneeman. And Buxton is tagged out, throw to first base, and is dropped by Naylor. So the contact play was on. Schneeman gloving this one cleanly and a perfect throw to Bo Naylor, and Buxton tagged out. And Cleveland nearly turned the double play, but Josh Naylor could not handle the throw. Twins have a 3 0 lead. Job well done, Bailey over. And now the Twins bullpen and Jorge Alcala. A swing and a liner to center base hit. Andre Simenez with a single to go along with his walk, and he becomes the second Cleveland Guardian with a hit today. Oops, this one to right. Kepler coming in near the line. Kepler will dive, and Kepler! Makes another great play. Max Kepler saved a hit and potentially a Cleveland Guardians run. If that gets by him into the corner, Jimenez may scoot around all the way from first and score. Here is Brian Rocchio. 0 for 2. Switch hitter batting left-handed. One out, one on. 3 nothing Minnesota. Swung on, hit high in the air to fairly deep right. Kepler on the warning track. He's up against it. It is gone! A two-run home run for Brian Rocchio. It's fifth of the year, and we've got a one-run game. Think back to the catch match made, and if that ball drops in, we're talking about a tie game. Back-to-back -back base hits, an inside-out cut for Willie Castro, snapping an 0-for-13. And the Twins now with runners on the corners. Now Kyle Farmer is going to bat. Softly to right, Brennan over. He'll make the catch. Kepler will tag and score, so Farmer makes contact. And the Twins score their fourth run. 16th RBI for Farmer. It's a sack fly. And the Twins grow the lead back to two. Four to two Twins. Ninth inning. Last shot for Cleveland. So the Guardians have the tying run coming up. And Brian Rocchio, who homered, out to right in the seventh inning. Now the 2-2. He struck him out. Ball game over. And the Twins beat the Guardians 4-2. Huge series, huge homestand. And the Twins are only two and a half games back with three more left to play against the first place Guardians here this weekend. 